guys and welcome everybody back to the channel so it's your boy Landon and I finally got my new build up in running so this is a complete monster of a build um, I'll just go over the specs really fast um, of what the setup is that I'm running so we're running a 14900 K we are running a Z790 Asus Z790 Maximus Apex Encore which is one of the best if not the best motherboard you can possibly buy right now and we're running a liquid cold, uh, the Arctic Liquid Freeze 420 millimeter radiator um, on the CPU with a ROG Thor 2 Maximus, the Platinum. So 1200 watt. So yeah, I think I have the box down here. It's actually this one. Ugh. So it's this one. So the ROG Thor 1200 watt Platinum uh, with the little window on it. Uh, so you can see the watts. But anyways, oh, and then we have uh, DDR5 8000 megahertz RAM. And if you guys have any questions about any of the hardware, hey, go ahead and drop it in the comment section. Basically what I like to do on this channel is just do a lot of overclocking and even do like gaming. I love doing benchmarking, all that kind of stuff. Uh, it's just a lot of fun. So if you guys have any questions, hey, drop them in the comment section below and I'll try and get to them. So the 4090 Supreme Liquid X, this card comes in right at around Seven, I think it's right at $1,800 is the MSRP price. And really my main goal today is to talk about overclocking and temps with this card and even noise, which is pretty impressive because I don't even hear this card, especially when it's under load. It's really impressive. Now, one of the main reasons why I bought the card is because it would look really good with this case. And not only that, but usually when people buy liquid cool cards, you are really trying to get better cooling and more overclocking capability. You know, that's kind of the main reason why you would buy them. Now, a lot of the 4090s are kind of really close to the same, give or take. Um, this one has really impressed me. The cooling is super, super good on this card, which you would expect from a liquid cooled card, of course. Um, it's probably five or six degrees better than my Founders. So my Founders uh, 4090, it ran at around 57, 58. This one's sitting at like 51, 52 degrees and that's overclock guys. So anyways, um, let's jump into a benchmark and let's actually push this thing to the limits. Now I actually, I haven't even hit a ceiling with this card yet, um, but we've been overclocking it on the superposition benchmark, which I'm gonna show you guys. Um, let me get out of this. Let's turn this around. So basically what my overclock right now is is I just have a one I just have a a one seventy on the core clock and a hundred on the on the um, actual memory clock. So the very first score I got with this was like a thirty three thousand two hundred, and the last score that I just got was a thirty four thousand eight hundred. So we've guys we bumped it up over almost two thousand score on this benchmark, which is pretty impressive. So we just added, uh, yeah, so let's see what it may. I'll move this over so you guys can see the temps. Hope you guys can see that in the top left corner there. 
I can move it closer to. So this is fully under load. I just want to see what it makes on this. 29.85 um, is definitely pretty, pretty good. Pretty good with this car. Um, but like I said, guys, the noise is really, really good with this card. So, I mean, I can even bring the camera over here. Let you guys actually hear the card. I can't hear absolutely anything from this card. Like, it's so quiet. And that's even with the side panel side panel off, which I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's closed. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. I love this case. But it is really expensive, so. Yeah, I can't hear absolutely anything coming out of this case right now. It's it's just crazy. And then I actually have the radiator. Let me show you guys really fast. I have the radiator pushing air out the back of here. So yeah, it's really sweet. Anyways, let's go back and show you guys the performance. So it looks like the clock speed dropped a little bit, but it's only sitting at 51 degrees, which is really, really good. Yeah, super cool card though. Let's see what it makes. Yeah, so that's a really, really good score considering the baseline with this card without doing any overclocking was 33,000, like, I think it was like two or 300. So look at that. We've picked up um, a lot of performance there. And not only that, but let's compare this. Let's go to compare results online and see what where this puts us. Like I said, we still got room left in the tank. Um, let's go to 4K optimize because that's what we were running. So let's see. So we got 34,000. And the CPU is not overclocked at all. So, so 34.8. So right, right around here. 123, 124 in the world. Which is pretty good. I think that's pretty darn good. Let's go back and see if we can push it maybe just a little bit further. And uh, yeah, see how, see how it does. All right guys, so we just added another 30 to the core clock. I just wanna do small increments. Um, we let it cool down a little bit, down to 25 degrees, as you guys can see. It's running at 25 right now. Let's open superposition up. And let's just do one more and let's just see what it does. Um, back when I had my 3080 Ti, man, that thing ran hot. That thing ran almost 80 degrees. And now these 4090s are just like really efficient. It's crazy. Um, oh, this is probably gonna crash. It's at 3000 megahertz. <laughs> All right, let's see what it does. If it actually stays through this, I will be impressed. I will be very, very impressed if it stays at 3,000. I haven't even seen 3,000 yet. So, eh, we'll see. Make sure you guys can see that. Three thousand, so it dropped a little bit because of heat. Card's getting a little warmer, so it's dropping the. Man, it's pulling almost four fifty watts. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, so the whole the whole rig right now, guys, if you want to know, is pulling six hundred watts. That's the total wattage. Now, we don't have the CPU overclocked, which that would be that'd be quite a bit more, but. Yeah, this is just a sweet machine. I mean, I don't really recommend anyone buys a machine this expensive because it's, unless you're like an enthusiast out there where you just love to run everything, max settings, it's, I just like to have fun with my with my computers. So that's kind of why I have a machine like this. But if you are looking to buy a crazy machine like this, I recommend buying parts separately to where you can then save money but also get your hardware, you know? Say one month you buy the RAM, the next month you buy the case, you know? Just piece it piece it out and uh, you'll eventually get it. 
All right. Temps are looking really, really good. 52 degrees, guys. That's just crazy to me. Because it's, it's overclocked, too. So it's even running harder, and it's only hitting 53 degrees. Huh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> it's still it's still at 3,000 megahertz. That is insane. <laughs> I can tell you right now, my Founders Edition would not hit 3,000. I think I was capped. As, I don't even know what it would stay stable at. I know it wasn't 3,000. I'll tell you that right now. I'm gonna be really curious to see what the score is. If it's like a small jump or if it's like a huge jump. All right, we're getting to the end. My, room, my roommate's kind of warm too. I guess I didn't really mention that, so. Oh my gosh, look at that score, guys. <laughs> we picked up almost three frames. Guys, we picked up almost three frames per second just by bumping that up 30 megahertz. Oh my gosh. So that literally puts the total, that puts the total of difference between the 4090 Founders and the Supreme Liquid X by like at least 12 to 13. I mean, now that we just picked up another three. That's insane. Um, let's compare this and just see. Also, this video is getting way longer than I expected, so I apologize about that. What did we get? What was our score again? 35. Oh my gosh. And guys, it didn't even crash. 35. Dude, this is insane. This is absolutely insane. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Where? Wait, what do we get? Apparently, I have short term memory loss. All right, 35 1. So we're like, wow. We, we jumped so far, though. Huh. Right here. Wow. We jumped a lot. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to keep messing with this thing. Maybe push it a little harder. See if we can even get higher. I'm sure we can even get higher than that. I mean, it didn't even stutter. Anyways, guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. If you guys have any questions about any of the hardware, hey, feel free to just drop a comment. I'm always, you know, trying to talk with my... Uh, talk with my subscribers or whoever out there wants help uh, if I can actually you know help you out um, anyways we will see you in the next one have an awesome rest of your day